Gloucester have had their problems on the road this season, but they were quick out of the blocks at Sandy Park. A neat line-out move put Jacob Rowan into space, and although the flanker was brought down, the visitors recycled for centre Matt Scott to go over. Offside advantage. The Chiefs went to their go-to man for an equalising try. Slow ball was turned into a route to the try line by the power of Thomas Waldron. Gloucester retook the lead thanks to Charlie Sharples. The winger celebrated his 200th appearance for the club with a wonderful catch and raced to the line to make a 14-7 lead. But the Chiefs responded again. Sam Hill's dummy and pass creating the space for Ian Witten's first of two tries. Greg Laidlaw extended Gloucester's lead with the boot and he looked in control when Ben Morgan Steele was backed up by the number eight, following up to take the pass from Halifanua's powerful run. But the Chiefs never know when they're beaten at home and they scramble two tries in the final 12 minutes. Great hands from Lockie Turner put Witten in for his second try to make it a five-point game. And the draw was earned when the Chiefs controlled a drive from the line-out and replacement Damien Welsh snatched the Chiefs' fourth try. Final score, Exeter Chiefs 27, Gloucester 27.